Copy or copying. Take three. One of the most common error codes that these machines get is either CA00 or something in the CE10 to CE40 range. There's a couple different things that could be causing this, but one of the most common things is going to be the transfer belt sensors. And those are located here on the side of the machine and on this particular or in this particular case, I have already taken off the duplex unit, already taken out the transfer belt and the fuser. Uh, for more information on how to do that, you can check out some of my other videos. I don't necessarily recommend that the average person do this. Um, if you're pretty handy with mechanical stuff, then go right ahead. Uh, follow along on the instructions. You should be okay. Um, but for most people, this may require a technician to come out and do it. And a skilled technician should be able to get this done or at least diagnose and clean the problem uh, within about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it doesn't take me long to tear this apart and put it back together pretty quickly. So anybody who knows what they're doing on a Toshiba machine should be able to do it pretty quickly. So anyway, let's jump right into it. Again, I've already taken off the duplex unit. I've taken out the transfer belt, taken out the... Uh, transfer belt blade as well as the fuser so we have easy access to this side portion of the machine. Now there's three sensors in here and if we go in a little closer you can see uh, it's going to be right here on this black piece. And you look, If you look even closer you can see that there's a little slide plate here and what that's doing is that's covering up three sensors. There's going to be one on the right, one in the center, and one on the left hand side. And what happens is, is the fuser sits right above this along with the transfer belt and a lot of dust and um, paper debris uh, fall down in here and they can get on top of the sensors and just basically make those sensors not work properly. And like I said, the CA00 code is almost probably 95% of the time it's going to be because one of these sensors or all three of them are just dirty and dusty and just need to be cleaned out. So what I do uh, after I get everything out, I like to first take a small vacuum and vacuum up all the dust that's going to be in these little slots and up on top here. Then what I like to do is get some canned air, or my favorite thing is the air compressor, but I understand that a lot of people probably don't have an air compressor near their copier. So canned air works just fine. The only thing you want to be careful of is the frost that comes out of the canned air. You don't want the frost to get on the sensors uh, when we try to clean them. So just make sure that the can is held far enough away where you're getting the air pressure but not getting that cold frost. Secondly, after we blow all that out and clean it all up, uh, wipe it down with a nice soft uh, towel and then I like to get a Q-tip. And then what I like to do is just slide this plate over and then you can see that, or not see, but you can feel that there's a piece of glass just slightly down there. And I just like to rub the Q-tip on the end of it just to make sure that there still is no dust and debris. Do that for all three of them. And you can see on the end there, there is a little bit of dirt that uh, did come off with that. So that's basically it, and from here you can pretty much put everything back together and that CA00 code will probably go away. Um, but one other thing I like to do while I'm here and while I have everything out is also the fuser sensor. Now I did a video on this earlier on how to clean these, uh, and you can watch that, but a uh, quick and easy method, there's actually two sensors that are in these two holes and they're kind of at an angle pointing upwards towards the fuser belt if the fuser was in there. Um, and if you get your head uh, real in there, if you can, you can probably see them. I can't really show you on the phone. Um, but uh, same thing, just use a Q-tip and you can just kind of clean off that sensor while you're here. These sensors kind of monitor the heat and the fuser. Um, so if you ever have an issue where your machine is taking a really, really long time to heat up or is pausing or not printing a full job and it kind of pauses and then um, the panel tells you that it's still heating up and just tells you to wait, if that's occurring a lot and uh, it's not printing the jobs out in the, 
very quickly, then that's probably a quick and easy solution. So once again, that's five sensors that you can clean right there on the right hand side of the machine after you got everything out. So now we're just going to put everything back together and try it again.